up guys, Milkler Games here coming to you today with a deck profile of Anti-Meta Machina Gadgets. Um, this is actually like the fifth or like fourth or fifth time I've actually tried recording this because I have bouts of constantly changing decisions in my head what I want main deck, what I don't want main deck, so on and so forth. But I think I finally fucking figured it out. Yeah, so anyways, let's get into it. So, we've got our two copies of Machina Fortress. I had this at three, but it was really really too cloggy. I did not like having it at 3 just because I saw it weighs too much and I can search it out so why would I need it at 3? One Machina Cannon. I still don't know if I like this guy. He's a piece of shit. He is the worst Machina by far in this fucking world of Yu-Gi-Oh. But at the same time he's a free level 8 pitch for Fortress in the Grave so I mean that's kind of the only reason I run him is just to get back to Fortresses. Of course, we got our three copies of Machina Gearframe, uh, just to search up the Machina Monster. It's pretty much standard, as everyone knows. I run Triple Tin Goldfish. I had this at two, and then I had the inclination of, well, fuck, I don't get to Xyz very much. So I wanted to be able to put more pressure with Xyz on the board, so I upped this to three, just because I want to be able to put more Xyz pressure on the board and get into things that are going to get me out of problematic situations. Uh, the only problem is sometimes tin goldfish can clog, but I mean when you have gadgets, both the two, gadgets can also clog. So I figured if you're going to clog, at least clog with playable plays. So obviously like you just see in there we have two of each of the gadgets. So that wraps it up for the monsters. I had tried, I had put in Thunder King Ryo, never saw it, never drew into it. I'll just side deck Thunder King. Maybe I'll draw into it in a match or something. So anyway, we've got for our spells, Triple Upstar Goblin. Uh, I'm actually using the OG MRL um, series Upstar Goblins. Uh, but because this is an old school deck, I figured I'd go with an old school version of the card. Uh, but no, in all seriousness though, this card makes the deck 37 cards. I mean, you have gadgets and you draw into a gadget with this, it's just, the deck has so much consistency. But, you want to be able to get into back row as much as possible with this deck build, so you run triple duality. Special summoning in this deck isn't that necessary, so honestly we can easily get away with running the triple duality, just because duality, I mean duality really helps us search into back row, helps us search into answers for our opponent's shit. So, and honestly, Duality is one of my favorite cards uh, to play. We've got Regeki, Double Dark Hole, and Book Immune. Main problematic answers to Dark Law. Dark Law does like to hurt this deck because we do search a fair bit off monsters and off the Pot of Dualities. So, being able to get rid of Dark Law is absolutely necessary. So we have our answers to that, but we have a lot of traps in the deck. Solemn Warning, Ring of Destruction, Compulse, Vanities, Bottomless, Torrential, pretty much what I what I call the main standard six staples. Uh, a lot of people don't like the fact that I do this, but I love it. Triple D Prisms, Triple Mirror Force and triple fiendish chain. If I were to have any set of traps that I could have at three all the time, it would be these guys. Mass destruction outs to dark law. Negating effects. Banishing things that can't be destroyed by effects. Honestly, best lineup of traps that I think I've had in gadgets in forever. And I mean I just I just had to break out the old school you know, the old school D prisons, the original D prisons in fucking Ultra. So, we have a lot of back row. We have, I think that is 15 traps. So, most of the, most of the deck is traps, and the rest is just searching inconsistencies. So, for our extra deck, two copies of Gary Gigan X, two copies of 101. Uh, I would be running two copies of Castell over two copies of 101, and I'd still have one 101, but I'd have double Castell, but unfortunately, don't have it. Playing this guy, because I don't have anything really else to play, and we got 
chain. I've actually won the game with him. Revival chain. Uh, the revival chain I haven't found a replacement for yet because I was actually going to try Mathematician and Pero Pero Cerberus and like make revival chain and have this as an out to problems as well, but I just decided against it, like with my better judgment. Also, one thing I absolutely want to see again is Ultimate Offering. Please bring it back to one Konami. Please make this deck good again. So we have Utopia. Doesn't do shit, but sometimes he's good. Pepper Operative, really good monster. Um, my Stroke. I've actually had times where my Stroke is actually really good to play. Uh, Roach. I played against Cyber Dragons. This crushes Cyber Dragons. This this actually does stuff. That's good. Um, Black Ship of Corn. Currently, double Guider Good Cowboy. Just because I have nothing better to put in here. Um, I want to have Giant Hand. I want to get Exodus. I, I need to have Pistols. I need Rebellion and Exodus Dragon. But currently, I'm trying Guider Good Samurai. And I'm actually kind of liking this card. It actually really is not that bad. Uh, you can make him to where he can attack twice, his 1900 beat stick can attack twice, and so that's like, what, 38 damage on board in one turn just from him alone? Not to mention fortresses, any other monsters you have on board. Uh, currently, go, 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 Goliath. Uh, I need, I want Diamond Crab King, but I can't find Crab King. That's something I really want to have, though. So, I may have to go and do a lot of trades to try to get a Diamond Crab King. Don't know how or where I'm going to get one, but I need to get one. And then, I'm currently, I actually put this in on here just to try it out, just for the hell of it. Um, number F0, you type of future. This guy is actually really good if you can bring him out. He requires two of the same rank monsters. This deck spans rank, this deck can spam rank fours, so I mean, I can actually make it with this deck. Um, but this guy really is actually really good. Uh, his rank is always one. Uh, but basically, what it is is it can't be destroyed by battle. Another player takes some better damage from attacks and damage. At the end of the game, it's going to be destroyed by the opponent's monster. You can take control of the opponent's monster until the end of the game. If this face up, if this face up, then you can destroy the card effect. So, basically, you make this, you attack, like when your opponent's big monster, take control of it, attacking with their monster for game. I actually want to get with that with this card. It was hilarious. But he's definitely not staying in the deck, he'll be getting replaced uh, as soon as possible. But, you know, I just figured I'd try him out for once, and he, you know, he was actually pretty fun to use. Pretty cool. So anyways, guys, there you have it. There's my Muck and a Gadget Rank 4 deck. Where the hell is the mouse on this damn game? I can't find the mouse. My computer's freaking out. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Um, I like the other things. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I like it. 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 So, I did. I... Thank you for watching the new electric concert channel. I'll see you guys later.